So you're taking this this way and the body that way. Yeah, stretch it. Yeah, okay, so forward though. Yeah. This is your head. Up there, like that, that filming up there. Off the table. We call it off the table. Then your body can go left and the face. Uh, who is uh, a member of the club and want to do the right sided. This is the best instructional area that you could improve your golf game. If you want to be a good player and a consistent player, the right sided swing is for you. There are so many good players doing this at the moment. That's where we used to start out here. That's where we used to start. Yeah. The range, I used to yeah. make you start out here. Yeah, start here and go back. And then go around. But yeah. I've also found that when I look down this way, I can set it really easy here. And so that it's, and then I can just hit it hard. Yeah. When you're the other way, this goes in. because. Well, I go too, I go too straight and I go, I go this way. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just go with that, isn't it? When you yeah. used to go this way, you had to go that way. You had to go this way. Oh, I had to make yeah. room for it, didn't I? Yeah, there you go. Try to go that way. No, we won't play with them up there. There's just so much less movement. Yeah. So, it's the best I've ever seen it. I've been videoing Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta that, that starting move is good when you just as long as you're there as long as you're there and there, and you do that and well, then that, you're fine. Well I think that's so, well that's what's improved. Yeah, I know. So so you basically um, the club just goes in the right spot on the backswing, you don't you don't have to worry about where it's going. So as long as you've got that, you, you know how you always used to go, you, you'd always go, sometimes sometimes you'd get like this, and then sometimes you'd try to get that, and you'd get like that. Yep. But yep. now, now you've got well, that, a, that and that. I think that's the key now. Yeah. You know, I always have trouble with it, and never really, I'm yeah. how easy is it to go? Yeah, no, you're all set to go, yeah, I know. So I always look, look, look at it sideways now. Yeah. That's great. Well, see, that also gives you a feeling of where you want to go. So you go that way and you're forward, yeah. So really, from there, Pete, you can go, you can go this way, and you go this, this way for your, for your fade, and you can go a little bit top for your draw. You can tie it up a bit, and then you can go that way with your fade, and you can just hit a bit. It just looks like that though. A small one either way. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, it looks like that. It's tight. It's tight. Hmm? That'll do. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Uh, it's a great honor to have an interview with Peter Senior. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you again for letting let us have the interview. No, my pleasure. I heard that you're a living legend in Australia. Can you briefly introduce yourself? Such as age, career wins, and like your career championships. Hi, uh, my name is Peter Senior. Uh, I am 63 years of age. I turned professional when I was 19 years old. Uh, I have 34 career victories, 
on major tours and uh, I've had a very good life. Wow, that's yeah. very impressive. What is your most memorable what, match and why? Uh, probably the Australian Open in 2013. I was 53 years old. Um, I had my son on the golf bag caddying for me. Wow. And that was probably the greatest highlight of my career. Yeah. So you remember that one was with the Jordan Spitz, you competed him? Uh, I, no, he, he played at the Australian Golf Club. Um, we had guys like Adam Scott, Justin Rose, mm -hmm. Uh, quite a few other good players playing at the lakes. I won it at the lake. So you were competing with younger guys and, and you won it. And how was that possible? Um, well, the, the most amazing thing, and I think uh, this is why Gary Edwin has been so good to me, is that uh, the three biggest tournaments in Australia, mm -hmm. the Australian Open, the Australian PGA, mm -hmm. and the Australian Masters, mm -hmm. I won after I was 50 years old. Wow, that's so, um, fantastic. It was it, it, it was a time in 1997 where I was having a lot of trouble with my game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I played with uh, Peter Lonard, who was one of Gary's yeah. best students. Yeah, I know. And uh, he came to me after the game and I was pretty disappointed. Even though I won the tournament, I was disappointed wow. because I played so badly. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and Gary said, uh, would you like to fix it? Mm -hmm. And from 1997, I've been with Gary and it's been the best thing I ever did. So next question is, who is Gary Edwin to you? Um, well, he's my father figure at golf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, you know, Gary's been a, you know, the greatest thing about Gary, he lives for golf. And uh, he gives his time freely to a lot of people. He's helped so many guys. And uh, of all the coaches that I've seen in Australia, mm -hmm. Gary is the only one who swings it mm -hmm. like he teaches. Who swings it like he teaches. Yeah, whatever he teaches, he swings exactly the same. There is no other golf professional that I have seen that coaches and swings the same as what he coaches. So, uh, and I think that's a very important thing so that he can relate to everybody else. Right, exactly. What, what do you think is the biggest advantage of RSS in, in, in the match, in, in the competition? I mean, the right side swing. Um, well, I've, I've always found the right side swing is consistent. Consistency. You know, and it's such a simple thing to think of. Uh -huh. uh, I think a lot of players get too wrapped up on thinking of too many things. Mm -hmm. uh, with Gary's right sided uh, stuff is all I, all I do is I think of my setup. And if I know my setup is correct, then there's every chance that the shot will be good. This one, right? Yep, this, this one here. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your first Gary's lesson? What was it all about? And when was it? Something like that? Uh, yes, I can remember. The first time uh, I got with Gary uh, was at the Palms Golf Club, uh, Palm Meadows Golf Club. And this was probably a week after the Cannon Challenge that I won and uh, I played with Peter Lonard the last day. And he came down and he showed me all my old swings. Uh -huh. And then he showed my new swing where, that, that I was playing so badly. It was so different. And the first lesson he got me to do was not to move my body. Straight legs and just swing the top. And that's how, and that's how we got started. Oh, that's very impressive. What was the weirdest move of the right side swing? Um, just staying still because I had so many moving parts. Yeah. In my old golf yeah. swing, it was very, very difficult to keep still. But, um, you know, I've always been a hard worker. When I, when I go and do something, I try and do it to the best that I can. And uh, I'd practice for many, many hours trying to get it right. And uh, it was only probably three or four months later, we played the Australian Open down in South Australia. Mm -hmm. And I'd probably hit it from tee to green as good as I've ever hit it. I finished second uh, uh, next to Stuart Appleby, but, um, the golf game, I was so, so excited that I was playing right, so right. well. Exactly. Uh, you, we see videos of you have a lesson to carry out doing recently too. So what are you up to right now? Uh, well, I always come down and have a quick check with Gary. Um, yeah. You know, it's very hard to see yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so I come down, we put on some swings, uh, we get our models out so that we can compare each one. 
and uh, we go from there. Uh, sometimes it gets out just a little bit, but it feels a long way out. But, uh, you know, the swing doesn't really change much anymore. I know. Yeah. It's... What is your big, like, trouble or big problem in your golf swing? Well, the, bigger, the biggest problem I had in the olden days was mm -hmm. if things started to go wrong, mm -hmm. I couldn't fix it. Right. So the greatest thing now is that when I start to hit it badly, I know what causes which shots mm -hmm. so that I know, right, I'm too straight or I'm, getting, or I'm, I'm dipping at the beginning or I'm going back too far, it all creates different shots and I can fix it on the course now. What do you think is the most important thing to win a golf tournament? Oh, geez, <laughs> Fini finishing with the best score. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. How much do you drive on the, the tour? Like uh, if, what is your maximum drive distance and how do you adjust on a tour to get consistency? Um, well, I never saw much distance. When I was 50 years old, I never saw any, any change in my distance. When I got to 55, a little bit, mm -hmm. but when I got to 60, I could see a big change. I've lost nearly one, well, over one club in my irons and probably 15 metres off the tee. So um, I, don't hit it, I don't hit it very far, but I hit it very straight. Mm -hmm. So when I get on really tough, difficult courses, I have a big chance to win. That's very nice. How far do you hit the seven iron? Uh, seven iron, I hit one sixty-five yards, one fifty meters. One fifty. So, which is probably wedge for a lot of guys these days. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we have a lot of right side fans in Korea, of course. Yep. Fans of you, fans of Sang. Would you briefly say to them? Whatever you want to say. Okay, uh, to, all, to all the fans and to everybody uh, who is uh, a member of the club and want to do the right sided, this is the best instructional area that you could improve your golf game. If you want to be a good player and a consistent player, the right sided swing is for you. There are so many good players doing this at the moment. Thank you very much. That, that was it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. That's fantastic interview. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow, okay. Wow. Thank you. Jeez, good ball. Very good. Don't show him if his piece is in there, he'll take your car. So don't show him. Yeah. I, I saw it before. It had to be a double spreader. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. I took two new I take it in the cart with yeah. me when I'm swinging there. That's good. I take it, it with me. It's good, isn't it? Um, are they coming? Are you coming back down again to Australia? Are you oh, coming probably back next year. Well? Oh, January okay. next year. Next year. Next year we come and you can play at uh, Sanctuary Cove oh. with me. Really? Right. Okay. Oh my God. Really? Okay. I can't believe it. Yeah. 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 Be good. And nice to see you guys play. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank Have you, you sir. played Century Code before? No. no. Good course. Good course. Well, I didn't know you were going to give presents today. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, hey you got some little ones. ones. And this is a wood one. Yeah. 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 Wood one. Fantastic. That's the wood awesome. one. Yeah, the Q code, yeah, the Q code. So basically, this is what links to the website. So basically, all these articles, oh, yeah. you know how to scan, if you like something here, you can then scan it. With the okay, and, and it takes you to yeah, the video. Yeah, it takes you to the videos. Fantastic. That is really good. <clears throat> well done. Only one. Only one. Only one in the world. This one I like. Yeah. yeah. I think so. <laughs> this we one were is supposed much to make this one a sample. But Whoa! Wow! <laughs> yeah. That's what Papa New Guinea opened. That's what Papa New Guinea opened. Protects my ears. Yeah, my ears. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.